Hello Beak Friends, Mora Cat here. And with me I have a big piece of, that's right, matzah. And on Passover at the Seder, we take the matzah and we put it inside a special cover, like the one that I have here. But I'm gonna show you, if you were not able to make it to the Creative Play Zoom classes, how you can make your own matzah cover at home. And so when yours is all done and dry, you'll be able to take matzah at the Seder and put it in your very own matzah cover. So what you'll need are some paint, or you can use markers if you don't have paint, or you can also use crayons. And then you can just collect some different materials from around the house, such as toilet paper rolls, which can be cut on the bottom into fringes, or you can also use the other side. You can use little pieces of cardboard or old plastic cards, membership cards. Um, you can also use Legos and cotton swabs, come closer, and some sponges as well. And all of these materials can be used to make a beautiful matzo cover. And I'm gonna demonstrate with just a couple of colors. So if you're using paint, you can put paint onto your brown paper bag or paper if you don't have a brown paper bag. And using different materials such as sponges, you can move the paint around on your paper. So with a sponge, you can glide it across the paper or you can dab it across the paper. With a Lego piece, you can use the Lego piece to stamp and make really nice patterns of circles using the Lego, or you can spread the paint and make tracks. You can also use plastic animals. If you have plastic animals or um, some cars that you would like to use, that can be done as well to move paint across the paper by making footprints. And that's always fun to do creative play with things that you have around the house. With a cotton swab, I can also take my paint and swirl the paint around in circles or take my toilet paper roll and stamp it or spin it round and round to make all kinds of marks in my paint. If you're using crayons, <clears throat> you can take the cardboard and put it inside your bag or underneath your paper. And my daughter Ellie is filming. Ellie, can you get a closer up shot where I can see the lines of the cardboard? Or I can also use a Lego piece to do the same. Where I put the Lego piece under the paper and I color on top and I can see the circles. And also with crayons or with markers, you can make a loopy kind of squiggly line drawing, just a scribble line drawing. And then you can go back and take your crayons or your markers and color in different parts of your looped drawing or your doodle. And I'm gonna take the green and color over here. So there are many, many ways that you can create your own matzo cover bag using crayons, markers, paint, and all kinds of items around the house to move your paint in different ways, different than using a paintbrush. And it's super, super fun. Or if you have bottle cap, container, lids. We, those can be traced with crayons or markers to make circles. Or of course, we can also use paint on the paper. And we can use the lid to swirl the paint around or also do stamping to make circles too. There are many, many ways to have fun with this. 
and enjoy the creative process. And I hope you all enjoy making your matzah cover bag. And I'll see you next time for another creative play video. Bye.